guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another video in today's video we are going to be talking about how to get out of a rut when you're feeling demotivated and just low and stuck yeah and you just feel like yeah you're in that rut and you want to get out of it that's what today's video is about because i personally have been through that multiple times and the reason why i'm making today's video is to be honest i have been feeling like I am stuck in a rut recently and I myself am going to be using what I'm going to be suggesting in this video that's helped me previously to get out of that basically so if you feel like you're stuck in a rut or you struggle with lack of motivation or you just want to know how you can kind of boost boost that and just keep it pushing and reach your the next level reach your goal then be sure to watch to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video find it helpful useful informative in any way i would really really appreciate it if you could leave a like by clicking that thumbs up you could do it now if you feel an extra generous just get it out of the way and then if you haven't already consider subscribing join the family here on youtube we'd love to have you if you don't know who i am and this is the first video of mine you're watching hello my name is louise i used to be morbidly obese i weighed 269 pounds i'm five foot seven and i started my journey in 2020 I lost 120 pounds within a year and I share my journey here on YouTube I've done loads of other stuff as well throughout my journey like I've done a bikini competition a photo shoot I've done a body recomp I share basically all of my tips and on how to lose weight change your body composition how to live a healthier lifestyle but also tips on self-improvement because I'm big on just improving myself in general not just health and um, fitness if that makes sense like I, I'm more holistic I feel like this is more of a self-development as well that I do and I'm going to be sharing more of on this channel so if you enjoy any of that kind of content and you're interested in that then please be sure to join the family here on YouTube we would love to have you yeah the first thing I notice when I feel like I'm demotivated and stuck in a rut is the cause of that in the first place and a lot of that is when for me personally I have like a change in my routine or something doesn't really go my way something doesn't really go to plan or I'm bored of the way I'm doing the same thing over and over again like sometimes it can get a bit boring for me I do like that anyway but like if it's just like you're not really seeing much of results you've been going on it for like a long period of time and you just you just get to a point where you're not working towards anything and you it just gets a bit boring so that can feel like you're stuck uh it does for me anyway but a lot of the time it's because there's something going on in my life that makes me feel sad or just not as happy and it kind of takes away like the fresh positive feeling of being on a fitness journey being on a health journey and like my focus is kind of like not really on that because I'm not feeling the best in myself so I think the first step to getting out of a rut would be to figure out why you're in that rut in the first place because you can't ex expect to fix the problem because being in a rut feeling stuck feeling demotivated a lot of the time is just a symptom of a bigger reason or like of a cause if that makes sense so you can't expect to get better from that and break through that if you not don't really know what the cause is so i'll give you guys an example right now i feel like i'm stuck in a rut but there's many reasons right there is actually a few reasons but you know it's my journey i share this on youtube with you guys so i'm just going to share what I, why i believe i feel like i'm stuck in a rut obviously i have i wanted to get a tummy tuck done for those of you that don't know i paid for a tummy tuck to get done and of course my luck is that a week before my tummy tuck was scheduled to be done uh, the company went into liquidation and I have lost out so far on all of the money that I've paid which I paid in full I already paid it all off I've lost out on the money and I've also had a tummy tuck and I am a big planner as well so obviously that's like you know gonna make me not feel the best anyway do you know what I mean but for me I I feel like I don't, I, I'm not really great at handling when, like, I've got a plan and that plan f falls through. Do you know what I mean? So I had a whole plan that, like, in my head it was all sorted. Like, okay, I was going to have the tummy tuck done right at the beginning of the school holidays. So in my head, I already kind of signed off of training. I knew I weren't going to be training for the six weeks. I knew I was going to be probably stuck at home most of the time and not really being able to do much. I wouldn't be able to do a lot right but I'd already had that plan in my head and so the fact that that has all fallen through only a week before it's kind of like ruined my plans for the summer and it's really hard for me to come to terms with that like it takes like if someone was to cancel me last minute or a plan was to change last minute I am autistic as well for those of you who don't know so changes in routine and plans it really affects me and it affects like I, I can't control it sometimes like it just throws me off and I know that that has had an impact on the way I'm feeling because I'm 
I've, I feel like I've tried to handle it pretty well, but I also like when I'm training, I'm not really enjoying it that much. Whereas I know I should be kind of like more positive. Like I get to train, I, I don't have to miss out on this. And you know what I mean? But because I'm not following a training program, it's, it's made it really hard to enjoy that. Plus obviously my emotions are a bit all over the place. So I have been also another reason why I feel like I'm stuck in a rut. I've been all right with my diet, if that makes sense. The diet side is not too bad, but I've not been helping myself by going out for drinks and stuff. So I know this isn't really helping you guys how to get out of a rut, but I'm just giving you guys some kind of examples of how you can evaluate yourself in your predicament because I've been kind of like, because I'm like, okay, well, I can go out more. Um, I'm not going to be stuck at home. I've been, and it's not, there's nothing wrong to go out with like friends and go and have a couple of drinks. But the, the reason why that has helped me feel like I'm stuck in a rut is because Drinking alcohol doesn't make your body feel great. It's not the best for you, especially if you're drinking a lot of alcohol. Like, so I had a few drinks on a few couple of days ago and that's led me to feeling bloated, lethargic. I'm not able to train as hard. I feel like, ugh, I just don't feel great in myself. So that's not helping me feel better. So my plan is to address that. I'm not going, I'm, I think from now on, if I have a drink, I'm just gonna have one or two, but I want to actually start going out when I go out and just not drinking any alcohol and see, like, see if I can just do that, if that makes sense. Like I don't really need to drink alcohol and I never used to drink alcohol. It's only been the last like year or two that I've actually started drinking alcohol. I never used to drink like, I did before, but then after, like when I was losing weight and I lost weight, I didn't really touch any alcohol. So I wanna see if I can just go out, have fun without doing that anyway. So that's how I'm addressing that issue altogether. I need to make a routine for myself because also it's the summer holidays. So my main routine, my not my school holidays i'm a mum so uh, my school like my school term days have a routine and a structure and it's very very the same every single day i like that i enjoy that it helps me stay consistent so right now i'm not having a, a strict routine and whereas it does feel nice sometimes to be able to wake up when i feel like I, okay i can wake up a little bit in, in moderation with kids you know what i mean there's not really much latency but it's just that not having a full on structure to feel like okay i've got to do this got to do this so the idea of it is nice but it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for them either so to get out of that kind of rut i need to start setting a routine so figure out what you the reason why you're stuck in a rut is and why you're feeling demotivated so then it makes it a lot easier to make those adjustments if that makes sense so step one would be that step two would be if you're feeling down feeling low self-care right these are all things that will help you feel better and help you feel like you want to do best for yourself the worst thing that i think we do when we feel like we're stuck in a rut because we start feeling sorry for ourselves we start trying to comfort ourselves with eating uh, like emotional eating with alcohol like going out with things that actually make us feel worse but they feel better in the moment but in the long term they f makes us feel worse whereas if we focus that energy onto self-care it's only can be positive because you feel so much better. So self-care things that I do is I do like to read. I like to take time by like by myself without my phone. I think that is part of your self-care, like taking a break from social media. And it's hard for me as well because my job is basically social media. So I have to be posting, but sometimes like I have to put my mental health and like my self-care above that. So I'll take like maybe one or two days, which it doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, it's a lot because I'm not literally on social media 24 seven, but I think it's not good for your mental health to be on there 24 seven. So I try to take time away from that. I do face masks. I do my skincare. I do hair masks. I try to maybe if like my roots are growing through, I do my hair, I do my fake tan, exfoliate, I'll shave everywhere. So I'm like smooth, I do my nails, my toenails, like all of those kind of things that is just where I'm putting my energy into myself that energy that I would be using to feel sad or if I'm feeling anxious or I'm overthinking, putting that into myself and then is positive because if you like you feel better, you're taking care of yourself. And in that way, when you start doing that and you start doing things to make yourself feel better, you start feeling better in yourself and then you start wanting to continue to make yourself feel better by eating healthier, by going to the gym and training. It just all is like a domino effect and it all massively helps and it always helps me so once I figure out why I'm feeling like that in the first place I focus my energy into self-care and then I go on to step three which is actually setting a plan because my whole motto I've, I remember hearing this when I was at school and it stuck with me for life like they said it about exams yeah but I put it to every single thing 
that I do is if you plan to fail, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So we need to make a plan. So the step three is to make a plan of what I'm going to do to, in order to get out of a rut. So if I feel like I'm in a rut, I'm not making any progress. Let's follow a new training program. Let's get that set up. So for me, I'll contact my personal trainer or you can kind of make up your own plan or whatever or get one online. It doesn't really matter that much. Right. But ask for or figure out a new training program, what, what you're going to do, like if you lift weights, what what your new plan is going to be or if you just are getting into it and you want to start adding in cardio so what kind of cardio you want to do when you're going to do it and make sure you know exactly that it's going to fit in your lifestyle you don't say okay I'm going to do cardio three times a week and leave it as vague as that no because that does not help I've I've seen this in other people and in myself if you say that you're more likely to not do it so it's not going to work if you keep telling yourself okay I'm going to, going to do three days a week but not actually have a plan of what day what time and know that it can fit into your lifestyle because say you wake up on Monday you've got seven days in the week you've told yourself I, I can exercise three days of the week but you don't know when so you have a choice to make that day Monday do I exercise today or not and you're so much more likely if you know you've got six other days to be like mm, I'm not I won't do it today I'll do it tomorrow and you can make excuses so much easier whereas if you make a plan that is very specific fits in with your lifestyle so you know that it's not unrealistic so you're not going to say okay I'm going to go to the gym for an hour on Monday morning when you know you've got work very very early and you're very unlikely to wake up at like four three o'clock in the morning or something just to go to the gym so make sure it fits around your lifestyle you know it can can you is possible for you so whether that's like you drop the kids off for example for me dropping the kids off to school and you know you've got a couple of hours slot in the morning after that to go to the gym then like have that as your slot or if it's after work then have that as your slot like try to make sure that you you've done that but you've picked specific days that work for you but you've written it down somewhere and you're making yourself accountable for that so you know you've got a plan you know when so it's very specific and you're not going to say oh I'm not going to do it that day I'm just going to move it to this day no when you've said that you're going to do it that day you just do it that day and that time or around that time or like fitting it in that kind of routine to make sure you kind of come up with a plan for like exercise, how many steps you're going to get a day. It doesn't have to be, if you don't track your steps or whatever, you don't have to. But obviously, if you do track your steps and give yourself a step goal or at least a amount of walking to do every day. So whether that's okay, my plan is I'm going to do at least 30 minutes every day. And not just, oh, I'm going to do 30 minutes every day. But rem make sure you know when you're going to do those 30 minutes. Is it going to be in the morning? Is it going to be in the afternoon on your lunch break? Is it going to be in the evening, after work, before dinner, after dinner? Make sure you have that so you know when you're going to do it. So you're not guessing and trying to squeeze it in your day because you're a lot less likely to do it. Same goes for food. Plan, right? If you fail to plan what you're going to eat or even go food shopping, if you've not got nothing in the house, you're just going to fail. It's so much more likely you're going to fail. So what you need to do is make sure you go for a food shop. You know what you're buying, what you're going to be eating. You don't need to follow like a meal plan, but kind of have an idea. For me, I know I have my breakfast every morning that is Weetabix with fruit. So I make sure when I'm going shopping, I'm picking up the Weetabix. I'm picking up my milk. I'm picking up, I've got protein powder at home. I'm picking up fruit that goes with it. Like I'm making sure that if I'm, if I know I'm going to be having like loads of salads for like, I'm picking up a few bags of salads. If it's going to be jack of potatoes, I'm picking up the potatoes. Picking up tuna, I'm picking up chicken breasts. I'm picking up my yogurts. I'm picking up, um, like for dinner, chicken breasts. I'm picking up vegetables. I'm picking up, like, I know that on my shopping list, I've got all of that in the house so that I'm not at home, like, oh, what am I going to eat for dinner? Okay, do you know what? I'm going to order a takeaway. And that's how we end up keep going in these cycles. So just make sure you've done your food shop. You know roughly what you're going to eat. And if you track your calories, make sure you know how many calories you're going to be having. If your goal is to lose weight, to maintain, you've done that. You know what you're doing, how many calories. So you're not guessing or overeating around, eating random every single day. You know what you're going to do. You have a routine, like your new routine in place. So you've got that ready to start. So then the next step would be to execute your plan right so you actually have to put your plan in action by literally you say you have boxes and think of it as like this and this is why you should really keep your plan kind of simple you don't need to go from zero to 100 you don't need to do like loads right the more simple your plan is like the boxes you have to tick so for example your first box in the morning make your bed right there's actually been studies to show that people that make their bed in the morning are more su successful and more productive so say first step 
Now, first box you've got to tick in the morning is make your bed. When you actually, like, even if it's just a mental tick in your head, when you accomplish something that you say you're, you do, that you say you're going to do, or like is like a to-do list, if that makes sense, that makes you feel so much more accomplished. It helps give you more self-esteem because you're doing what you say you're going to do. You're keeping that promise to yourself. It gives you so much more self-esteem and then you're a lot more likely to follow through with other tasks. So by doing simple tasks like that, like just making your bed, you're improving that part. So, and you're improving your discipline which is a really important kind of skill and it's a muscle that you have to practice to get stronger at. But yeah, so say make your bed, make a breakfast, uh, uh, your, I don't know, a healthy, filling, high protein breakfast. Tick. Okay, I'm just going to go through like my, my ones, right? After the school run, go to the gym and train. Tick. Do some cardio after my session. Okay, 20 minutes cardio on the stairs. Tick. Uh, come home and clean, tick, okay? It doesn't all have to be just your fitness related. Go for a walk, tick. Have a healthy healthy uh, lunch and dinner, tick, tick. Hit your calorie goal, tick. Make sure you hit your protein goal, tick. Go to bed at a reasonable time. Okay, that's actually my problem. I say at a reasonable time. What you need to do is actually set a specific time and make sure you account for the time before that. In my head, time works randomly. Right? If I have to do something, but if I, if I have a plan for, for something, say I've got to go to bed, at, say I say 10, then I'm like, okay, I've got to do like this, this, and I work backwards to make sure that it all fits in my day so I can go to bed at 10. Yeah, just, yeah. So if I, if I can say to you guys, like if you have a bedtime and you want to make sure you're getting enough sleep, set a time, don't be vague. For me, vague doesn't work. It'll go to bed at a reasonable time. What is a reasonable time? Do you know what I mean? That's where my problem is. So if, if we can stay together, what we're going to do is we're going to have a time very specific. Be very specific with the plans and make sure you execute them. And in that way, because it did work for me, when I actually set my bedtime for half ten, and my wind down time from ten, so I could give myself a half an hour to kind of wind down, to chill before I actually go to sleep, it helped, right? My camera keeps overheating, sorry guys. But yeah, so if we just say we'd be very specific with the times and when we're actually going to do certain things and make sure it fits in a lifestyle and actually execute it, that way when you tick those boxes, you are going to feel more accomplished. It's developing your, your discipline and your self-esteem will improve so much. I've noticed that like when I actually do what I say I'm going to do, I feel so much better in myself. I feel like I can trust myself more. And like you start to to have the belief that you can do it because if you keep do, like not doing the things that you say you're going to do if that makes sense then you start to kind of think like in a more negative mindset you start to think oh I want to lose weight but I can't oh, I want to do this but I can't and you can but you just have to prove that to yourself that you can do what you say you're going to do so that leads me on to one of the last steps which I believe is to be positive and speak positive affirmations to yourself so instead of being negative and be like oh I have to do this I have to do this you, I get to it's just that simple switch but it does make a massive difference and I've noticed that especially when I'm trying to come out of a rut I'm like oh I feel like this oh I feel like like because you're in when you're in a rut you're very negative most of the time and you're when you're demotivated you're feeling very negative you're feeling very oh I can't do this or I want to do this but I just can't like and you feel like you're stuck right so if you when, when you start executing I know it's very hard to just be like okay well you've made a plan now execute it and especially when you're feeling like that but what you need to do is even if you listen to positive affirmations you could put them on YouTube like type in positive affirmations for confidence for getting things done like you can do that and you can just play it in the background while you're getting ready or whatever listen to positive affirmations speak positively to yourself so try to be very positive about like I get to go and exercise I feel and then like even say it out loud like I feel so much better now I've gone and exercise even if you don't really believe it in yourself say it it because you are speaking positively and you'll start to believe it and you'll start to feel it so like with your food when you're eating healthier start telling yourself like I actually feel so much better when I eat like this like you'll feel it in your body but maybe not straight away but I definitely do feel a difference like 100% from when I have drunk alcohol or I've not eaten the best I feel so like down here to when I start eating better obviously it's not straight away but it just like after a while it starts making me feel so much better I can feel a massive difference in my body in my mood my mental health everything so if you are positive about that and you speak positively about that you will start to feel it but do give yourself two weeks at least I always say like the first two weeks is always the hardest um for starting a new diet program or trying to get into something I feel like when I try to be in a calorie deficit anyway the first two weeks I always find I'm more hungry and I find it so much harder whereas like once I've been doing the routine the new routine for two weeks it starts to become like a habit and I feel like my hunger levels start 
like mat like leveling out as well like i don't feel as hungry like i get used to the calories i'm on especially when i'm in a deficit i get used to the calories that i'm on push through it like you've got to use your discipline and i know it's like frustrating because people are like oh, how can like people want to do it without discipline right people will want to right but you just can't like you sometimes you just have to do it and you have to just think it's for your future self it's for your own good consume content that inspires you that makes you feel better about yourself that makes you feel positive makes you feel like yeah like inspired and motivated to continue i would say i'd definitely say that and i would also say like to listen to content or read books about self-development self-improvement because they do teach you a lot about how to kind of develop your mental toughness and your discipline and it makes you feel uh, for me when i read self-development and stuff it makes me feel more motivated to like be better if that makes sense and push through the tough times to get to the other side and develop myself basically which is the whole point of reading the books but i definitely do recommend that as well and also a big thing that i will say if when you're stuck in a rut is like i said it's a symptom of something bigger it's a way of our body and our mind basically telling us that something needs to change that you aren't happy with where you're at like for me i know i've got so much i want to do and i just keep putting things off like my pt course i want to become a personal trainer so i need to focus on that and i do find it really hard sometimes to focus especially learning from home i've learned i find it really hard like if i'm not very very like proper hyper focus on it i find it really hard and that's like to be honest with you guys that's the thing i'm finding kind of hard is like finding time to sit there and actually concentrate i feel like my mind wanders and it's hard for me to concentrate sometimes with that i know i'm pretty struggling with it but i really want to get that done so my focus is going to be to get that done because i really want to be able to be an online coach and even a personal trainer in person and stuff so like there's that but i'm also not happy with where i'm at in the sense of i'm not progressing in my training and i want to progress in my training i want to get stronger like i'm at the minute just training just to kind of train and that's okay but i'm not getting better i'm not improving and i feel like i feel my best when i am seeing improvements and progress and i haven't been doing that so my feeling stuck in a rut is more due to that as well that i feel like because i already kind of put everything on hold for the tummy tuck and now that's not happening it's kind of like stopped me and i'm like now what like now there's nothing like my progress was going to be my tummy tuck and I was going to see how that was and just I put everything else off for that and then now it's kind of like okay now what so my goal now is to have a goal so obviously figure out why you're kind of stuck in that rut like I said from the beginning but it's a symptom of that you need to see some change and you need to see some progress you need to maybe evaluate your goals and maybe set some goals because that's another way to get out of a rut is to make sure like you have something you're working towards and something that will push you forward and that's for, like for me i have a few goals that now i need to work towards and to kind of give me my why of why i want to carry on why i need to get out of this rut so yeah that's basically how i'm trying to get out of my own personal rut and it's kind of helped me like because obviously this isn't the first time i've ever felt like this so yeah it's, it's helped me in the past like, this is kind of like my i guess my plan to get out of a rut i was gonna say something else but it doesn't it doesn't feel right my schedule no it's not a schedule yeah it's like a plan isn't it it's just what i normally do my routine of how i get out of a rut and i would say try not to let yourself you can feel your emotions and feel sad angry whatever you're feeling but i would say like you can dwell on it i like I, i'm a big believer in like really feeling your emotions scream cry let it all out and be depressed allow yourself to feel that but for me i like to say don't let it go on for more than three days you don't want to be laying in bed crying feeling sorry for yourself for more than three days let you give yourself three days max to kind of allow yourself to feel and process everything say if you've something's happened to you or you're feeling sad you're going for a breakup or for whatever reason allow yourself to like really just go into that and feel that and then after the three days now now it's time to start this plan what i said do you know what i mean so yeah i, I would just say that but i hope this video helped you guys i hope you guys can get out of your right and get motivated again let me know if it does help if you have any other tips to add to this i would really love to hear them down below i'm sure everyone else would as well and yeah good luck guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did yeah leave a like i would really appreciate it leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye